Early on, uh, my introduction to animation was um, through paying close attention with nature and the changing of the seasons and the light of the day, etc. And uh, I noticed that I was drawn to movement, to dance, and to rhythm, shadows and light moving over time. And so I feel like that led me to hand-drawn animation. I grew up in Northern California, so I would my first instances of seeing animation were on the Arts Bay Area Arts Channel, um, where I saw works by uh, Starovich, by Robert Breer, the Hubleys, Russian animation, uh, in particular Nina Sharina's films, Dream and Door. I saw Yuri Norstein's films, Hedgehog in the Fog, um, The Seasons one. It was one particular one about The Seasons that really impacted me. Um, also, my dad uh, worked for George Lucas, Lucasfilm during the Star Wars Return of the Jedi era, uh, including some of uh, other films that were going on. Um, he is able to see David Lynch working on post-production of Dune which uh, is really interesting, and many other things. So that definitely influenced me a bit. Um, later on, uh, I studied art and art history, as well as I was interested in studying medicine. Um, and that kind of all culminated in me being interested in applying to CalArts. Um, but before, prior to CalArts, I was getting into the films of Jan Schwankmeier, uh, Yuri Trinka, Yuri Barta, The Quays, uh, films by Alexander Shuryev. Um, he's like one of the first, if not the first, uh, creators of stop motion animation. And he was really influenced by ballet. Um, I lived near an art house video store called Kensington Video that had a pretty strong animation section that was behind world cinema which I also really loved and I really absorbed that many hours of, of viewing films um, from there I watched more and more obscure Eastern European films or, and just all types of obscure films and um, as I was taking that in I very strongly felt that animation is something I wanted to pursue because it has allowed me to explore all these art forms within it. And um, I started experimenting with my own experimental stop motion and hand-drawn films that I would say at that point were still very strongly character animation based. Once I learned of CalArts in the character animation and experimental animation departments, I was um, trying to decide between the two which one I wanted to apply and it seemed experimental was the right fit for me because they were interested in creating people who would pursue their own visions and become directors and showing museums as well as commercial fair where character was what, the, what I generally got was that they were getting you ready for specific positions within the animation industry um, it wasn't so much about being uh, an author. So um, I applied for to experimental and I definitely did not think it was a strong possibility I would get in because it's a very difficult school and it's just based on your portfolio. And even though I had lots of life drawing and uh, uh, many, many hundreds of drawings of different characters, it still was doubtful. But um, I got into experimental animation and Jules Engel was my mentor. He Jules Engel was a very well-known animator, filmmaker, um, who worked on Fantasia and did his own experimental films later, um, who founded the experimental animation department. He's like a legend, and he gave me a lot of confidence. He believed in me early on when I was still doubtful of my first year at CalArts, and um, he just incredibly uh, influential and encouraging. I was in the experimental uh, film class of William Moritz. He was like an experimental film guru, wrote many books on it, in particular one on Oscar Fischinger. And um, he wrote a letter at the end of my first year when I expressed interest in 
great interest in Jan Schwankmar and Eva Schwankmarova's work uh, to them. And I went to Prague and I met them and I spent time with them, met the Czech Surrealist group. And um, that was a huge impact on me. Uh, later on, after graduating, I, I was working with a, a filmmaker who won the Fulbright to work with Schwankmeyer previously. And I worked on his film and brought over some CalArt students. And we worked on that while being just down the street from the Schwankmeyers. So I was able to, to go and see Jan quite a bit. And he helped me, mentor me through um, the animation part of my first, my second feature, my first uh, live action stop motion feature called Imagination. So um, all that was def definitely a formative experience for me. Back at CalArts, I had uh, Susan Pitt as my mentor after Jules Engel passed, as well as Janie Geyser, and then I also struck a friendship with Lewis Clark. Janie Geyser and Lewis Clark are, are married experimental filmmakers. And so they were a great encouragement and inspiration as well. After Prague, after uh, graduation, I moved to the UK and um, I was kind of immersed in like the BFI and the, the history of animation there. Um, I enjoyed watching uh, older animated films on Channel 4, as well as uh, Wind in the Willows, the original stop motion uh, series, which um, I really appreciated. I also went to Three Mill Studios and saw, um, met with the producer and the animators and director of Fantastic Mr. Fox, and that was nice. Uh, they also shot uh, Corpse Bride there and the Frank and Weenie after. And, and others. Um, so it was nice to have some engagement with the more of the mainstream animation industry in England. After that, I moved to New York City and I got, I lived down the street from Anthology Film Archives, which is um, a very famous experimental theater and archive and soon to be library um, in the East Village of New York City. So I was able yet again to watch more experimental films, um, art film in general, uh, all types of film, not just experimental there. So that was an amazing resource. And within that, I got I engaged with the New York City art world and started having many exhibitions of my sculpture and holography, um, as well as my animation, but more in an installation context. It was nice to meet contemporary animators who are working more in the art world section of things while still showing in um, like on sea and uh, Ottawa and just, you know, the, the top animation festivals, it's kind of being in two worlds, which I am as well. Currently working on a stop motion animated feature film, 35 millimeter feature film called Twilight Park. And um, I'm a couple years into that, I'm very excited. So please follow that, look out for that. And I um, just wanna thank Vasilis for this interview and um, hope you were able to check out some of my uh, program at the T-Short Animation Festival online. And uh, I just, um, just wanna encourage all those who are animators or interested in animation just, just pursue it. It is well worth it, even though it's going to be a lot of hard work. Just stay with your passion and you'll be surprised what um, fruits and wonderful things come out of it. Have a good day.